formulas to create a trailing 12 month income statement that's live and connected to your QuickBooks data. So once you're logged in with Genius Sheets, you can go to pull reports. Uh, we can set the time frame that we want to go to. So in this case, we're going to do the full year of 2020. We're going to select the profit and loss statement, and we're going to pull the data by month. And so that's going to give us our income statement on a new tab. Um, and so this is all coming directly from QuickBooks. And so now what, what we can do with this data is we can use the Genius Sheets formulas. And we'll reference so the categories in the first argument, the dates, the second argument. Uh, and we'll lock the cell references. So that lets us copy over all of the data. And so we'll go all the way down. And we'll go all the way across 12 rows to December. One more. And so now all of your data is going to be linked uh, directly to QuickBooks. So if you make any changes in your system, you go back and you've changed anything, uh, it'll automatically update. You can see we'll, we'll have to do some little bit of cleaning up here um, in terms of just deleting the empty rows right now. But so let's just go ahead and unbold, reach the ones that we bold. Um, and then the other thing, because there are the data points in here, uh, let's get rid of the decimals to make it a little cleaner. Um, and so right now, all of this data is linked directly to QuickBooks. So here are the two things you can do. The first is you can change these numbers so that they're they're based on the start date. So if we want to do just quick and dirty way over the first month, plus the next month, now each of these dates are actually linked in your starting date. So when you know, the year ends, January 2021 closes, you want to update these numbers so you, your numbers are rolling again on a last 12 month basis. By using this, all you have to do is change this first date. So now we're going to 2 1 2020. Uh, bam. And then so your numbers update, and now you have full trailing 12 months through January 2021. The other thing you could always do is you can delete this column C copy and paste this data over into column O um, and do it that way as well. The benefits of using the Genius Sheets formulas and having this all linked is if you want to add other items in here, right? If you want to add other rows, like, uh, do, 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 do. But now you can start adding additional data points, right? I'd right, say so 500 this month, 600 this month, and everything is no longer linked in like a pivot table format. So you can add rows, you can add columns um, really at your leisure. And the benefits of this is you can change whatever data items you want within this statement. So the other thing you can do is, let's say if I want to add I didn't want to just do 405 dividends. I wanted to also add in my other sales category. You can do, okay, I want to add this one also. I want to add it down here. I want to do it for the same date. Uh, so you can add multiples of these formulas in one, in one cell. And so this gives you a lot more flexibility from just the standard QuickBooks reports to kind of build these customized trailing 12 month income statements or uh, reports in whatever format you want. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, but otherwise hope this was helpful.